Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a bonus reading for Sagittarius. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, this, I'm going to try my best to focus just on love, okay? But whatever comes out, comes out. Please keep in mind, these readings are very, very general, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. Everything is subject to free will, yours and anyone or anything that you are energetically connected to, currently in the past and or in the future, as well as the will of the No one is free from law of cause and effect. Cross watchers, I will be reading from uh, Sagittarius's perspective, so obviously the roles can be reversed. Um, Sagittarius, this will go from right now, okay, in September 2021, all the way to the end of October 2021, okay? So please keep that in mind. All right. Oh. I'm stretching, so I don't know. Hopefully, this is going to be a good one. Last one wasn't so good. Um, I don't remember it all, but I did see the title, so it was like, okay. <laughs> so, let's see. Now, in this particular deck, it's called the Tarot of the Heart. 50 Ways to Divine Love, if that's what you want to believe in. It says Liz Dean is who it's by. It has, it has the original extra cards, which is Charity, Hope, and Faith in it. Okay, but it only has the majors. So let's see. Spirit, what's going on for Sagittarius, please? From now until the end of now, September 2021, all the way to the end of October 2021. What's going on for Sagittarius, please? What's going on for Sagittarius in love, please? Okay. We have the chariot in reverse. Cancer. Aries, Taurus, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Okay, it's in reverse. Any chance for Sagittarius, please? Any chance for Sagittarius, please? You have the lovers in the upright. Gemini energy. You have the star. Aquarius. Okay, why is the chariot in reverse, please, for Sagittarius in love? Why is the chariot in reverse, please? The high priest or the hierophant in reverse. Hope. Okay. Now I might have to look that one up because I can't, I really don't know what that means. Okay. Let's see. Show me the star. What's this star about? The sun in reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess in the upright. All right. So, what I feel here is that there is no, one, be careful of your vehicle. Don't be driving fast or upset. You might want to get everything checked on your car as well. Plans are stalling out. There's no movement forward because there is a hope or there is another lover here or there is some type of, you're not moving forward towards a lover that could have been wish fulfillment here or you feel that there could have been wish fulfillment with this person. Or this person isn't moving towards you because they hope they're hoping to have someone else or they're wishing for someone else here. You're not moving towards committed relationship out of either you don't believe in marriage or you don't believe in any um, or you're not moving forward with a divorce. Or you're not moving forward with a commitment here. But it almost feels like a rebellious type of energy. You feel like you have an, a problem with a higher authority, a higher divine law, possibly. Or this could even be institutions or governments or religious institutions as well. You have hope for a lover. But I feel like you're either you're not moving with, towards a divorce or you're not moving towards a commitment. There's no movement for for a marriage. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. You hope you hope to be crowned. As the lover here possibly. Or you are hoping to crown another lover. Your wishes are being. You're concealing your wishes or they are. The high priestess here. They're secrets. I'm going to take that. I actually do this. You're not moving forward. But you're secretly not moving forward. There is a wife or a mother figure possibly here. Or this is you. 
that has another lover or you have a wife and another lover or this person does there is a completion of a cycle or you maybe you wish to world travel or get away or get out of town or maybe this empress does but there's an but you see there's another lover and then there's a high priestess so there's a secret here there will be justice here maybe you feel like it's just to do the right thing either to not get married or to get a divorce or to not be committed you're hoping for justice you're waiting as well. You're hoping and waiting to be crowned the empress or to be crowned with justice here. You're trying to see something from a different perspective, but you're keeping your wishes and your desires or completions of a cycle secret. There is an emperor here, a masculine figure, an Aries, Taurus, uh, Leo, or this could be you if you're a masculine energy. You could very well be this emperor in reverse. This is someone who has a big ego who's keeping a lot of secrets. That are still being hidden mm -hmm. and it feels like mm -hmm. you might be keeping secrets or for this person or this person is keeping secrets from you. Oh, okay. Why is the high priestess here? Let's go another round. Show me the high priestess, please. One card. Show me the high priestess, please. The moon in reverse. Not listening to the intuition or the secret will be revealed about this high priestess, this other woman. Some the, the the high priestess can also be someone who's very promiscuous. The secret will be revealed about that. If this isn't you, okay, if you're not if you're the Empress and not the high priestess, someone's gonna be revealed to be very promiscuous. Okay. Um if you are a masculine Sagittarius or you're married or whatever, it doesn't matter gender, gender identity, but somebody here is um keep a secret's gonna be revealed to an empress here about someone's promiscuity or being promiscuous here. And having multiple lovers while being in a committed relationship could be the masculine energy who is not promiscuous, who is promiscuous, but is keeping secrets. Okay, show me this empress energy. Someone's hoping and praying a cycle will complete itself or that there can be moving forward. Also, the empress here could be very manipulative as well. Or it feels like that they don't have all the tools. That they need to be able to move forward. But this is someone who can also be very. Um, who might be very manipulative at this time. Either this is you or someone you're dealing with. Or their person. Um, someone's very manipulating the situation. Show me the world please. Might even be doing some type of magic as well. Devil. There's black magic here. For sure. I, I want to say this came up in your last reading. Sagittarius. I hope this isn't you doing this on somebody else. I'm not trying to judge you. Understand that that is going to come at a huge price. Okay. Or the ultimate price. If you feel me, sometimes it happens like that. It comes back and it comes back with a bite. And sometimes that bite or that, that price has to be paid is the ultimate price. Unfortunately. So please be mindful if you're doing something like that. Um, also, Crosswatcher, if you're doing this to a Sagittarius, uh, please know that you're you're fucking up and it might come at a very huge price. And sometimes the divine requires a payment that is um, the ultimate price. So be mindful of what you play with, okay? There's a, a secret obsession or addiction here. Why? And there's karma. There's justice that's coming here. It's divine justice or divine karma. Show me justice, please. The scales must always be balanced. Always. We have the tower, yeah. It's coming. Sudden realizations, everything falls completely down. Losing position of seating or status here as well. Built on a faulty or a rotten or decaying foundation. Hangman. Someone is trying to manipulate somebody else to see it from their perspective. But if it's not genuine and they're not seeing it from your perspective naturally. When the spell um, goes wears off, they're still not going to see it. I also feel like someone might be trying to bind somebody else. Hang man, please. The hermit in reverse. Yeah, somebody here is doing things not in... Um, right order um there could be chaos magic here as well possibly and uh, if you okay so if you're a sagittarius man and you're missing with chaos magic and you don't know what you're doing you're gonna fuck around and find out what's gonna happen so be mindful of that cross watcher you could be doing this to somebody 
You're going to about to fuck around and find out. Somebody here, just they're running out of time. Time's up. They didn't learn the lesson. The Sagittarius, this could be you. If you're a man or woman, doesn't matter. Identity, purposes, orientation, doesn't matter. Or the cross watcher didn't learn. So there's a price that's coming. All right. The sun reverse, please. What's this? Why is the sun reverse? Sun reverse, please. What's being hidden? There's a deep unhappiness. Someone is trying to make somebody very unhappy. The fool card. What's being hidden is that someone's been foolish. Acting like they're careless. Having a leap of faith or trying to, to leave or to, to have some for, uh, an Aries here very strongly. Um, but it's out of ego here. Someone is doing shit out of ego. Show me the Emperor Reverse, please. Show me the Emperor Reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in the Reverse. This person is not getting... They're not having any movement here. They're going to have bad luck. I'm also getting some of my... In, whomever is doing this, this black magic bullshit, no judgment, although judgment's here. I'm not passing a judgment here, but judgment is being called on this. Just I'm just saying. Wake up call and judgment's being called on this. Whomever is the one, I'm not accusing anybody, who's doing this bullshit, uh, they're about to run into some heavy-ass bad luck. Heavy-ass bad luck because of it. And it's out of... it's The divine's taking over. What's the moon reverse? What's... What else is being revealed? Okay. I'm trying to cut such a little, very few cards. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Charity. Someone was being gracious or being charitable or someone did something out of charity here. Or that's what they'll say. I did it for charity. Now let me look at this. Let me look at this card. Someone did something out of charity. Or they're telling somebody they did something out of charity. But I don't think that's true. I feel like somebody here really wanted this person. They just thought that they were going to get caught. That's what I'm feeling here. So charity is in the upright. It says, you share great love and passion, which brings happiness to others, particularly close friends, relatives, and children. Charity also shows mature love, indicating a long-term relationship or love between two people mature in years, over the years. So someone does have true love for someone, but there, there's secret that's that's going to be revealed, but there's no movement towards that. Okay, next one. We have faith. So someone has faith that their magic will work. Someone believes so strongly that their magic will work. Let's look at faith here. It's in the upright. Someone believes full, so heartily that their magic will work, but it's... The divine's calling judgment on it, though, faith. And it says, you may need to reassess your relationship if loyalty or lack of it has been a recent issue. Hopefully, the faith card shows a positive outcome and maybe a commitment, such as a wedding or moving in with your partner. You may give or receive a love token as a sign of your faith in order in one another. Whatever the situation, faith and fidelity are cause for, for celebration or um, concern. So, <clears throat> someone is hoping to manipulate someone into marrying them via magic, possibly. Temperance. The divine is watching this toxic energy. Okay, this is your card. You're trying to be he bring healing to the devil. It's not your place, not your job. How are you going to heal the devil? The devil doesn't want to be healed. Death. Someone is experiencing it. I'm telling you, there is just in this divine justice here is justice is the somebody here because they fucked with shit. Magic, maybe you or them or somebody else on the outside uh, of a connection, a primary connection, possibly. I don't know. It is about to pay an ultimate price, 
Be careful of car accidents, please, and the law. Okay, please be careful with car accidents, the law, also falling off of things out of high places. Okay, be careful of that. You have judgment in reverse. Yes, yeah, someone didn't learn their lesson. Mm -mm. And now they're being faced with dishonesty and bad judgment. They're being judged, but it's not in their favor. Strength. Like, someone needs to have the strength to try to have a new leap of faith here, but quietly. But they're doing it in all the wrong ways. This can also talk about lust here. Um, this can talk about lust. Trying to hold back from a lustful situation or a lustful person. So we have all the fixed signs here. So, And we have all the, well, all the fixed signs, but we also have all the, the major arcana. So... That could be any sign. It could be a Leah, really, all any sign and all signs. Okay, let's see. I want to let's take a look here. These are ginormous cards. Let's see. Anything else in love, please, for Sagittarius from now to the end of October 2021. Anything else in love, please, for Sagittarius now until the end of October 2021 in love, please, spirit. Anything else for Sagittarius, please? Very big deck. Very hard to shuffle for me. I have very small hands. Let's see. Anything else for Sagittarius when you want to start shuffling? Alright, cut. We're going to tag them from the top. Thank you, Spirit. Here we go. Knight of Wands in reverse. Desire reverse. That is your card, Sagittarius. You have Page of Wands in reverse, which talks about uh, Venture in reverse. You also have Three of Swords reverse disappointment and then you have decadence which is the devil card abruption there's a there's a, a there is a okay someone's been fucking around sagittarius this is your card okay but it could be any other fire sign but this is your card okay you playing games with desires but this person, the page, bad news about not wanting to take a venture with you. Disappointed, but or you're not disappointed here. But you are disappointed. There is a lot of betrayal here. There's also obsession and toxicity, addictions, and codependency here. This could be you or it could them, but I mean, it does have your card here. I mean, I can't, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say it doesn't. that's not your card when it is. So let's see. Ace of Swords reverse, intellect reverse. Someone isn't thinking rationally because they're so obsessed and addicted. The Emperor in reverse, sovereignty. Someone isn't acting sovereign because they're being manipulated via magic. They're not acting on their own free will. There's a lot of deception here from an Emperor. Someone's acting out of ego and doing magic out of ego. Again, we've got Aries here towards uh, Leo, but we also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I get somebody here is lying about doing some type of bullshit. Magician in reverse, again, with the devil in the upright, again. Someone here is lying about, there's an, I feel like it's Aries, very strongly. But it could also be, like I said, a Taurus or a Leo, for me as a reader. Somebody here is lying about doing magic on somebody else. They're obsessed. They're possessive. They might even be possessed, I don't know. But there is, it talks about inner skills. Someone is using their magic skills for their own reason, and they might end up paying a bad price. Three of Pentacles, Mastership. Yes, someone here is literally working with others to try to bring someone else down here. Eight of Swords in reverse. We have um, in, Imprisonment in reverse. Someone's going to be released, though. Someone's working on being released or releasing themselves <sighs> from somebody's work. Transformation. Transition here. Scorpio energy. I don't feel like the Scorpio is doing it, though. I don't. I feel like there might be an Aries or a Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini. 
Could be you, Sagittarius, or another Sagittarius, or an Aries. Could even be a Leo, but I get strong Aries here that is trying to do work on somebody else. I'm trying to do work on you or on someone else to get you guys to be apart. Or doing it on you to make you take away your choice. But I don't feel like it's a Scorpio. I don't feel like it's a Scorpio. I feel like it's an Aries or a Capricorn that has, they, or they have it very strong in their chart. Aries or Capricorn. Okay, could it be Virgo or Gemini as well? They're doing it out of ego, and that's going to be a major issue for the divine. Major issue. Yeah, the Scorpio isn't doing it. There's transition here. They're moving on. They're not thinking about this either. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're not worried about this anymore. They don't They don't want to fuck with this no more. They're over it. All right, let's see. Let's see what signs you could possibly be dealing with outside of the signs we just said. Let's see. We'll pull some cards on them. All right, let's see. What other signs or elements could Sagittarius be dealing with? Now, you could have this in your chart. You know, some moon rising, okay? Or they could have it in their chart, some moon rising. Or it could be someone on the outside of this connection that has it in their chart, some moon rising, okay? What other signs could Sagittarius be dealing with? Um, please, Spirit, from now to the end of October 21. What other signs, please, Spirit? And now they don't want to talk. Come on, spirit. I'll make a pick for you. Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. That feels right. Taurus. You have in your chart, they could have in theirs. Sun, moon, rising. Thank you, spirit. Scorpio. But I don't feel like the Scorpio is doing it, though. Okay. You have water, cancer, Pisces. Because we, we already have Scorpio here. Okay. Any other signs, please? Any other signs? Please, please, two more, please, for Don't make me pick. Cancer. So, Pisces here. Cancer. Or they're involved somehow. And we have fire. So that could be another Sagittarius. That could be an Aries or Leo. Bottom of the deck, we got Virgo as well. Let me take it. Okay. We also have Leo. So I'll take that too. All right. They want me to take, damn, they want me to take Capricorn too. All right. Y'all dealing with a lot of people? And they said Aries. What the hell? How many people are y'all dealing with? So this could just be you, fire, or Sagittarius, it could just be you. So let's find out what the hell is this shit. All right. <clears throat> so if you're dealing with a Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or someone else's, what's the intentions of Gemini towards Sagittarius, please? They want to come in and offer love or passion or some type of apology here, but they leave quickly. They don't stay long. Yeah, they're a third party. They say they want to offer you a soulmate connection, but nights don't stay long. Okay, we got Cancer and Pisces energy. We also have Leo and Scorpio in this one. Or maybe you want to bring some type of love into someone else's prior connection. Um, or Gemini wants to do that towards you. So we have a Taurus energy, five of swords in reverse. Somebody here, if you're dealing with a Taurus, they don't want to play any more mind games or they want a fair fight or a fair chance here um i don't feel like that they're going to get it though someone also might get any, be getting caught playing mind games or fucking with somebody so if, anything else for if you're dealing with the taurus if sagittarius thinks, yeah seven of cups if there's clarity about someone playing mind games why there was so much confusion so if you're dealing with a taurus this person's been fucking with you uh, if you're dealing with a scorpio what's their intentions well, they love you. They think you're hot shit. They can't they can't move on from you. They care about you. They love you. They want to be with you. They can't forget about you. Um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, what is Virgo's intentions? Three of Wands in reverse are turning your back on you and offering love to someone else. 
if you are dealing with a Capricorn Sun Moon Rising they want to offer you money or some type of stability here but be mindful they might be also weasel they might want something in return but not say it up front but in the after aftermath anything else for Capricorn maybe we'll offer your job but not really see now we have the chariot in the reverse they're not really serious about that they want to uh, they're not heading towards you mm -mm. they've gotten a new offer possibly if you're dealing with a water sign so pisces energy because we have cancer and we already have scorpio will of fortune here they're moving away from you they want to move things forward Ooh. they don't they're pouring back into themselves self-love here or they don't want to be with you anymore they're standing in their power and they're walking away from you if you're dealing with a pisces if you're dealing with a cancer Um, they like to, they, they do see as wish fulfillment here, um, but they do, they like to overindulge in drinking possibly, or other emotional situations. They have a, they're codependent on you possibly, or they're going to be, they'll give you a little bit, but then they'll hold back and expect you to do the most. They're not very, um, active lovers. Anything else for cancer and symptoms for Sagittarius? They have regrets about you, or they regret you, or regret manipulating you, um, they were just using you with the Empress Reverse. If you're dealing with a, well, since we have Leo and Aries here, we'll say that's you. Okay, so if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, or this is you, if you're dealing with another Sagittarius, what's their intentions? To stand in their power, to also to kind of flirt and do their own thing. But they haven't learned their lesson yet. They haven't gone within to learn their lesson. They're repeating past mistakes still. They're not learned. Yep, lovers in reverse. They are just going to play the field, but they still haven't quite learned their lesson yet. Or you haven't. If you are dealing with a Leo, they plan on lying to you, stealing, cheating on you as well, taking from you. They want to be victorious at doing this. They feel victorious or they will feel victorious at lying to you or lying about you or to you. Anything else for Leo towards side? Okay, yeah. Yeah, they feel like they've been successful in lying to you. Um, they've been victorious in lying to to try to avoid a tower, possibly with a Scorpio or Aries. Also, Libra too. If you are dealing with an Aries, what are their intentions towards you? Sun, moon, rising. What is their intentions towards Sagittarius if they're dealing with an Aries? They're not thinking about it anymore. Mm -mm. They are keeping a lot of stuff hidden from you. They could be hiding a Leo. They're unhappy though. <laughs> They're not listening to their intuition about you. They don't want to come towards you anymore. They feel like you might have lied to them, possibly. They are focusing on their money or they're hiding money. Um, and possibly hiding, uh, wanting to get married or commitment elsewhere. Or maybe they want to marry you, but I, I don't think so. There might be telling an air sign the truth. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, about y'all's connection. If you're dealing with an Aries. They're just, they just want to focus on money here. Mm -hmm. They are, they're keeping a Leo. If you're dealing with an Aries Sagittarius, they're keeping a Leo uh, secret from you. They are keeping a, something that's happened with a Leo. You might know a Leo. It could be a friend. It could be a coworker, somebody you do business with. It could be somebody, anybody uh, that you know that has Aries in their chart. Or this Aries is, has done something with a Leo that they're hiding from you. Or a Leo is hiding from you that they've done something with an Aries. And sun, moon, rising. They could have anywhere in their chart. Okay. Let's get you some guidance, please. Let's see. Any guidance, please, for my Sagittarius regarding this reading? Any guidance, please, for my Sagittarius regarding this reading? Free will. So see? Sovereignty. Independence and free spirit. You can't do stuff against free will. Um, everyone has free will. You can, you can also a Leo has free will too, or an Aries has free will. Someone has dark hair and they've done something with a Leo out of their own free will here. You can't fight with someone else's free will. You can't go against someone else's free will. You can do it and you can try, but eventually it comes back. Okay. Anything else for guidance, please. You need to have your own free will and stand on your own and be your free spirit, free agent here. Supernatural. Yeah. Somebody here is fucking with free will, um, spiritually. Inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. We have Pisces too involved. Natural. 
authentic, real, and organic. It needs to be real and organic, the love, not forced via magic or going against someone else's free will. Somebody here, I don't know why I'm getting this, but there's an Aries, or they have Aries in their chart. They could have it in their sun, their moon, their rising. They could also have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Or they have water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Somebody here has done, that has Aries in their chart, has done something with a Leo. Or a Leo has done something with an Aries. I don't know. Specifically those signs, but it doesn't have to be. Anything else, please? says burnt by the sun see ambition extension and reach somebody was too busy to deal with their person so this person dealt with somebody that they know there's a secret here transgression yep there's some cheating here flaws contradictions and mistakes someone made a mistake with a friend somebody has done something with the their partner's friend then we have death rights Saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives. Yep. Somebody here has done something with the, their partner, their spouse, their partner's friend. Male or female doesn't matter. Okay. Um, damn, I don't want to leave it like that. I mean, it just feels so sad. Um, I don't know. I've got to find this out. Okay, what's this trans transgression about? What is the transgression about? Let's see. What is the trans transgression about? Let's see. Hold on. Who did the transgression? Who did the transgression? Or who did the uh, the transgression? Who did do the Taurus did the transgression? Okay, who, okay, Are they could have Taurus in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Sun and Rising, who else did the transgression, a Virgo, okay, they could have Virgo, Sun and Rising, an Aquarius did the transgression, they could have done this transgression with any of these people, or there is a Virgo coming between a Taurus and an Aquarius, or Sagittarius, your person has done, whatever sign they are, has done a transgression with um one of these signs um they could have in their sun moon rising but i feel like it's a friend either one of your friends or one of their friends something's happened of the opposite sex or if you prefer same sex whatever it's of a romantic transgression it's like sexual or romantic all right what is the transgression for taurus what was the transgression with taurus please breaking up a family causing drama and rivalry competition playing games all right if you're if it's a virgo that missed with your person or your person missed with them or you did whatever what was the transgression with a virgo not choosing the right path secrets illusions deception lying about a virgo they lied about something that happened with a virgo or, or having a choice in love concerning a virgo Okay, tell me the moon. What's this transgression about the lie? A lie. What's the lie? What was the lie? Show me the moon. What's the deception? Being trapped up in their head. Aquarius energy. Self-imposed prison. The Okay, what, they lied about why they were trapped up in their head because they had a choice in love. Their indecision. Yep, they had a choice in love. There's another choice here in love. And it is a Virgo or Gemini, or they have it in their chart. Some men rising, manipulating the situation. They're indecision because they had someone else. They walked away from it, though. Or they might be walking away from you because it didn't yield what they want. Virgo energy. Yeah, it's Virgo energy. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, I mean, it is Virgo energy, but it can also be sun, moon, rising. Okay? So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, what were their transgressions for Sagittarius? They betrayed you. Third party energy. They cheated on you. They betrayed you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they also manipulated you and played mind games with you. And we also have... Okay. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, 
this is what happened, okay? Or, Sagittarius, you did this in Aquarius. Lies. Okay? Anything else this Aquarius might have done? What was the transgression? Lovers in reverse. A Gemini here. They had a choice in love. Mm hmm They cheated. Somebody cheated. Might have been with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. What was the transgression? Someone from their past. They acted immature about this. And it's going to... They betrayed you. They betrayed you multiple times. Multiple of times. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Sagittarius, they betrayed you multiple times. Or you have betrayed them multiple times. Let me see this. Show me Aquarius, please. Show me Aquarius. You have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listen, listening to ego. Now, you could have done this to an Aquarius. Anything else for Aquarius? Or they could have done it to you. Karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yep. Someone's cheated big time. All right. If you're dealing with a Virgo, what did they do? Show me Virgo. Clock. Um, need time takes time in in time. Cycles. Time to heal and progress. This person's walked away from you. Or they will be. Or they walked away from the situation. Or they walked away from your person who they cheated on with or whatever. Anything else about Virgo, please? Sunglasses. Yep. We have watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perceptions, and focusing out. They know they're about to be found out. All right. If you're done with the Taurus, what it, show me Taurus, please. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily mm -hmm. single, living in the moment, and having fun. So this person acts like they're single all the time. Yep. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Anything else for Taurus, please? They just play like they're single. Not enough. And we have Golden Mirror. It says, frustrated in relationships, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. And then we also have Golden Mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yeah, if you're doing it for the Taurus, are you having your chart? There you go. All right, but well, this is what I got. Um, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in below. I will link your Mercury retrograde reading in the description box below. Please don't forget to check that out. We are in pre-shadow, okay? Of Mercury retrograde. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, take care of yourself. Until next time.